Hey there, Bible buddies. I've got another Bible review for you today. And this is one that I kind of get a lot of questions about online on the uh, Bible groups. This is the Local Church Bible Publishers Paragraph Bible. And essentially what this is, is it's a King James Version Bible that's written in paragraph format. Instead of the traditional, uh, say, double column verse by verse, this is a single column paragraph, uh, which gives it quite a unique layout. Uh, and it's something that... Um, that I enjoy um, for, for uh, as a reader format. Um, I have another Bible here that I'll compare it to. It's my favorite. You guys have already seen it on this channel, um, but I'll compare it to it here in a little bit. Uh, so let's get into this one. So this one is, uh, like I said, it's done by local church Bible publishers. This is an iron calfskin cover that they use. And you can see here that the cover is pretty smooth, but there is a little bit of character to it. There's some kind of graininess and veininess. Uh, you can see here that they do a perimeter stitching and they have a little perimeter line there around the edge. And then on the spine, the perimeter line continues there, as does the stitching. And then we have one, two, three, four, five hubs. And we have Holy Bible, Authorized King James, and Church down here. Now, one thing to notice is that the letters here are not that deeply stamped. Uh, so I would imagine with time, they'll probably, you know, rub off with, with use, you know, as you handle the Bible. There are raised hubs, uh, and that will actually help mitigate some of that, you know, rubbing off if you're kind of laying it down on a table. Uh, but if you're handling it quite a bit and holding it, it will... Um, You'll still, you'll still get some wear there on the on the letters. On the back, we have that nice grain yet again, and the perimeter stitching and the perimeter line. It's a very nice leather, very soft and supple. Again, it's an iron calf skin, and they have it marked here on the inside cover. You can see right there at the bottom iron calf skin. Now, this liner, I'm not sure if it is a synthetic liner or if it is an actual leather liner. Um, it, could, it could fool me, and to be honest, I would uh, believe them whatever they told me. <laughs> uh, I, if I had a guess, I would say it's probably a leather liner. Um, but don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, now, the, the leather cover does, uh, does fold over here, and it's stitched. Uh, and they do have a nice... I'll show, show the corners, actually, first. Um, it is a very well-put-together um, edge line Bible. You can, hear, you can see the uh, tab here coming up onto the block. I'll show you the back, in the corner work there in the back. Very nicely done by local church Bibles. And the, uh, we'll go back out. Uh, we have uh, yellow and black head and tail bands, a nice gilt there on the edge. Very shiny, very well done. And then we do have two black ribbons and these feel, uh, these are double-sided satin ribbons. They're a little on the narrow side, um, but they're very nice ribbons, very high quality. They feel very nice and smooth. Um, you know, good ribbons. All right, so we'll go ahead and get into the Bible. We have a few pages here, blank pages of cardstock. It's a little stiff to open. It hasn't been broken in yet. We have several pages here, blank cardstock. Then we get to the title page. I'll go ahead and leave it there so you guys can pause and read it if you want to. One thing that I do appreciate down here is that local church puts their item number, which is the 435E1B. Uh, they also put the name of the Bible, the Paragraph Bible, and then they tell you what the cover is made out of iron casket and when it was produced. So this one was made in August of 2019. Then you have a list of contents, which is all the books of the Bible, and it gives you the page numbers there. They have them listed in alphabetical. Then we get to the first book of Moses called Genesis. And one of the selling features that I really like about this Bible is that they do have these nice little illustrations throughout the biblical text. Um, the majority of them are kind of at the beginning of the at the beginning of the book, uh, but there are some also scattered throughout, and I'll try and show those to you as we go along. You can see the four-line drop cap here, nicely done. And the way that they kind of handle this, uh, you know, the presentation of these um, of the text here is instead of putting the verse numbers within the text, they put the verse numbers off to the side. And I'll turn pages here so you can see a little bit better. So for instance here, you can see that verse number 11 through 28 is going to be this stretch of text here for the whole page. And then on the next page, we have 28, the end of 28 there, through 31 for this for the remainder of the uh, of chapter 1. And then on chapter 2, it's page 1 through, th uh, sorry, page, <laughs> verse 1 through 13 for the remainder of the page. Uh, so that's kind of how they do the verses. So you can kind of keep tabs of uh, kind of where you are a little bit um, as you're reading without getting like totally lost. Um, but it's, it's, it's well done, especially for a reader. You know, it's very non-intrusive. Uh, at the tops, you do have the um, book name and then the uh, chapters. At the bottom, you just have the page number. And again, there's no references. There's no uh, footnotes. There's no pronunciation marks. It's a very clean text. The only thing you do have here is a little indicator at the beginning of each chapter, a little graphic there. So I'll turn through the Bible, kind of chunk through it a little bit here. We'll see if we can't find some of those illustrations. 
There's one towards the end of Genesis. And they're pretty nicely done. You know, it looks kind of like a old style kind of wood carving. And I appreciate that because the whole overall like look and feel reminds me of like a classic kind of text for a, you know for an older kind of classic book. And obviously there's nothing more classic than the Bible, right? There we go. A few more. We'll get to the poetic section here. Now with the poetry, um, they did kind of indent the lines to show that it's poetry, uh, but they didn't really make any kind of attempt to kind of even out the lines. Um, so you are going to get some orphans and widows there in the text. Uh, and, you know, it's not really going to be evened out. I wish they would have done a better job with that, but um, given the rest of the layout of the Bible, I'm okay with it. Now, for the most part, local church Bibles uh, produces black letter text. Uh, I noticed uh, recently that they did add some red letter text to their uh, website, but I think this um, paragraph Bible is still in black letter text. Uh, so there's no red letters throughout the New Testament. It's just going to all be black letter text. I'll show you another illustration there with that nice little drop cap. I love the drop caps. You can see here is the start of a book and there's no, no illustration there, but it still looks nice with the little graphic designs there. Little details like that make it nice. Now, uh, the paper you can see is not, it's not super excellent, um, but I don't really have a problem with it only because they did an excellent job line matching. Uh, let's see if I can get you in real nice and tight there. Um, so you do see a little bit of show through there. Um, but as far as like, actually, once you get to the text, it kind of, you know, does a good job mitigating that just because of the line matching is done so well. So uh, it's not going to be like a super high quality paper, um, but it's good enough really for this, for this reader. And given the price point too, uh, local church used to sell these for 60. I think they've gone up to like $62 now. And for $62 for this Bible, um, it's, it's really a great deal. So I'm not going to complain about the quality of the paper. Here we go, the end of Revelation. We have a little apocalyptic <laughs> drawing there. And we'll get to the end. And if I remember correctly, I think it just kind of drops off here at the end of Revelation. So there's the end of the book of Re Re Revelation. And then it looks like what they did was they finished out the signature by just giving you a bunch of uh, kind of blank pages there. Uh, and this is just normal Bible paper. It's probably, I don't know, 30, 20, 30 sheets of paper, uh, which is nice if you want to take notes or anything like that. And there's a few more sheets here of uh, cardstock, like in the front. And that's it. The Bible wraps up. So not a bad deal for 60 bucks. Let me go ahead and get you some measurements. So the Bible measures uh, just at six inches wide. And right about eight and five eighths inches long. And it's kind of a chunky guy here. And it's going to measure at about one and five eighths inches thick. So not too shabby. Let's see how big this text is. We'll go ahead and use our handy dandy font comparison sheets here. We'll do the Ellen Lord for uppercase. And it looks like it's a pretty decent size for reading. Uh, looks like a 12 point for uppercase and for lowercase. We'll use the M and Majesty here. We'll start with 12. Yeah. And it looks like it's a 12 point font there, which is very nice for reading. A nice large size, I mean, larger than normal. So uh, yeah, great, great size, uh, perfect uh, layout for a reader. Uh, what I wanna do is I wanna compare it to another reader, my personal favorite that you guys have seen on this channel before. And I've almost wrapped up with it. I've got, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe a couple days left of reading this um, before I, I've totally finished it up. But this is the CSB readers um, done by Holman. And the quality, uh, the quality of this Bible is great, uh, considering I paid only $20 for this. You get an actual uh, goat skin leather there. I have a review on it. Maybe I'll put a little card up in the corner there uh, for you guys to click on. But uh, we'll take a look at this one, the layout of this one, and then just kind of compare it. Let's get, I don't know, somewhere at the beginning there. In Leviticus. Compare the text, text to text, right? So you can see here that they're both pretty similar. They both have pretty, uh, pretty nice open margins there. Uh, the spacing between the lines is pretty nice. Uh, the font itself is pretty big. Granted, this font is a little bit bigger, um, but I really do enjoy the reader's layouts. And one thing that I, I do like about the local church Bibles is that it does give you the, kind of the verse range here. I do appreciate that because there's been many times 
where I've read something in this Bible and it's been kind of a bear for me to dig around and figure out what verse it is because there's absolutely no verse markings in the CSB uh, Reader's Bible. Uh, so I kind of have to <laughs> go through and reread the chapter to try and figure out what it was if I, if I had a question on something or if I wanted to look something up and do some additional research. Um, but this has been a great, excellent Bible. Um, I've really enjoyed reading the CSB Reader's Bible and I would imagine that I would feel the same for this. And this one is definitely on my to-read list, um, the local church Bibles uh, paragraph Bible. So that being said, it's been an interesting little Bible. Uh, if you guys are so inclined, uh, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll go ahead and put a link uh, down below so you guys can purchase this Bible if you are interested. Well, it's not this exact Bible, but one from local church Bible publishers. Uh, otherwise, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave them down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye!